All right, what's up? We are uh, parked at Texas Hole. I'm gonna start here. Uh, it's like 16 degrees, so I'm gonna start off with the streamer. Uh, a little sparkle bugger that I talked about. Actually, fly fish food calls it a sparkle minnow, but mine's super basic. Um, I saw theirs like years ago. And keeping with my, if you saw the video, I talked about all the flies. Um, it's basically two materials. It's uh, a marabutel, and I do a dubbing loop, and I just spin some dubbing up and pick it out. Um, and we'll finish it behind the uh, the bead head. Something, you know, uncomplicated, catches some fish. I don't mind, like I said, throwing it and tossing it around. Um, obstacles and stuff like that, obstructions and things. Uh, one of the questions I got last night was, how do I do like a fluorocarbon? I don't do fluorocarbon, fluorocarbon leaders. I'll do a tippet. Uh, basically, I don't feel like you need an entire fluorocarbon leader, but I do like the abrasion resistance of a, like, say the last 10 inches to your streamer because I am going to be dragging it around rocks and fish are going to get it so um, that's the reason why I don't it's not necessarily for the sinking or whatever like fluorocarbon sinks a little bit but it's not enough it's actually going to add to your sinking of unless maybe you're fishing some nymphs but uh, as far as the streamer goes yeah I uh, I use a lot of fluorocarbon on the wine to my first fly like say 5x to uh, like a red analid or whatever another nymph and I'll do 6x fluorocarbon to um, and I'll show you these flies a little bit later, but like a, you know, a small midge or a, a betus or whatever. I've been going back and forth, but the top fly has been like a little red blood midge. So I'm going to nose is running, fishing 5x to that fluorocarbon, um, about a 10 and a half a liter. So I got 2x to a tippet ring and then a foot of 3x, foot of 4x, foot of 5x. So I get you down to 10 and a half. And then I got another six to eight inches of 6x to a uh, midge emerger. So, and then when I do, when I go back and forth, I'm doing like I did put it this way. So it's not in the sun, but, uh, Little sparkle bugger, tippet ring. I just cut off that net, that uh, cut below the tippet ring, like I said in that video that I just did. I'll link that for you guys. Uh, and I just switch back and forth, put the flies in a fly box right there, and I just move it back and forth. I'll try to maybe at lunch do a, like a walkthrough and clearly explain it, link the video so if you guys want to see it. But anyway, I am ready to fish. Um, beautiful day. Two guys in the parking lot, my buddies are launching their boat. We're gonna check in and see if it's worth doing the boat tomorrow or if it, maybe we just wanna wade. But uh, I'm gonna do here, fish this streamer for a little bit. Okay, so here's the nymph rig I've been using. Uh, I'm using a red yarn Dorsey indicator. Basically, I'm just blind casting. If I go to side fishing, I'll switch up to a camo one that has a little bit of red. Um, it's right here, I keep them the two that I use the most often out, but you can see got a little bit of red in it so you can pick it up, but it's a little bit more discreet. Um, that's what I was using uh, at the end of the last couple days. From my indicator, I'll adjust, but everything from my tippet ring to my uh, fly line is not, so my Dorsey will slide easily. So I got a clinch knot from there. That's 3X, a little bit of 3X. Warps tippet knot, a little bit of 4X. And then a little bit of 5x it's getting windy so a little bit of 5x to my first fly which is a red blood midge and then i have a i'm sure you guys can't see this stuff but just a little midge pupa black uh as far as shot i got a number six removable egg it's right here so it's just dinsmore number six shot and that goes above, you know, you can see the, you know, eight inches above your first fly at right above the knot from your 4X to your 5X. So I'm gonna go blind cast now, see if we can just pick up some fish. I saw a couple, so I was still in a streamer, so I know there's some fish in there, but uh, yeah. So there you go, that's my, uh, that's my nymph rig for this. It's my 10 foot four weight. Um, the system, seven and a half, two X to a tip of ring. And then maybe a foot of three, a foot of four, a foot of five, first fly, so it gives you about 10 and a half and then another six to eight inches to your second fly. So all of the whole system, like 11 foot to your bottom fly. Simple enough, right? Let's go fish.
you chill out. Can I see something? There? So I switched up my indicator, went to a Dorsey Yarn, the camo, and I went to a number uh, four to get down. And switched up nymphs a couple times, went to a, a smaller um, little midge emerger to finally get that fish to eat. A uh, little poly wing, that's a size 24. Um, the little red midge on the top is a size 20. There you go, see if we can catch that other one that's in there. They would not move, I know that. It had to be like on their face. Dang it, turn the camera off as it pulls it on. There you go. <laughs> what a dummy. I thought I had the camera off the whole time. I actually had it, or had it on. And when I set the hook, I was like, "Oh, do the quick capture and catch that fish." But I ended up turning it off. So. <laughs>